Hi, and welcome back to another video for Your Soul Evolution. My name is Erin, and I help people to evolve spiritually and to awaken to new perspectives. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to check the description box. I have created a free guided meditation that will help to raise your vibration and renew and recharge your energy. If you are someone who feels like you have been dealt a very bad deck of cards with your genes and your heredity, then this is gonna be a great video for you, a very empowering video for you to help you realize that your genes and heredity are not and cannot hold you back. So I was recently watching this Bruce Lipton video and in this particular video, he was talking about an experiment that he was doing back in the 70s with stem cells. What he was teaching and what he was studying was called genetic determinism. Genetic determinism is the belief that genes control your traits, your behavior, your physical attributes, basically that your genes control your life and who you are. And what he found out through his research is that that was not the case at all. So what he did was he took these stem cells and he put them in a Petri dish and they would divide and reproduce, I think every 10 to 12 hours or something like this. And so over a couple of weeks, he had thousands of these stem cells. So the experiment that he conducted was that he would take some of the cells out and put them in another Petri dish and he would change the environment of those cells and what was around them. And then he took another group and he put them in another environment and then he took another group and put them in another environment. So what happened next was that each of these Petri dishes, one turned into muscle, one turned into bone, and one turned into fat cells. The research had revealed that although those stem cells were genetically identical, their environment was what was controlling, you know, what, what ended up happening to them. The environment was the determining factor of the fate of these cells. So I said all of that to say, just like the cells in this experiment, the cells in our body are the same way. You may have different genetic disorders in your genes, but that does not mean that you are destined to live that, that fate out. You have a choice in that. There are plenty of people out there who have things like breast cancer genes and and you know all kinds of cancer genes but they don't get it because they live happy active lifestyles they eat good food they meditate they connect to nature they're grateful they're present to the moment things like this so during the time that dr lipton was doing these experiments what was what he was actually teaching in medical school was the genetic determinism and he quickly realized that he could no longer for ethical reasons continue to teach that because he knew that you are not a product or a victim of your genes and that the genes do not control your life what was being taught then we are still in this mindset today that we are a prisoner and a victim to our genes and that brings us into a victim mentality and we avoid doing certain things because of our genes and, and we label ourselves a certain way. I'm overweight because I have bad genes. You know, I have to have arthritis because it's in my genes. I have to have diabetes because it's in my genes. My great grandmother had it. On and on and on. You are making yourself a victim when you do this. And scientifically, it is not the case. And most recently, there is a new science called epigenetics, which is exactly the same thing that Dr. Lipton had discovered in the 70s, that they're just now coming out and saying, you know, quietly, yes, that's true. And with the epigenetic control science, it goes along the same terms where as you change the environment, you change the fate of your cells. So having this knowledge is so empowering because that makes you the master of your own body. You 
and you alone control your genes. Saying that your genes and your heredity, that was just the cards that I was dealt and this is just my life, this is how my life has to be, wrong. It does not. And when you are telling yourself that story and taking on that label, you're making yourself a victim. And when you're a victim, you open yourself up to the vibration of having more things come into your life to make you feel like a victim. So this is something you really want to detach from. Feel free to look any of this up. Look up epigenetic control. Look up genetic determinism. Look up Bruce Lipton. You don't have to take my word for it. The science is out there. Once you become aware of something, once you have the knowledge of something, when you continue to go through life labeling yourself a certain way and telling yourself and others a certain story about why you are a certain way and why your health is a certain way, then you are making a conscious choice to accept that. The power is in the awareness. Once you become aware, you can then make a choice to change this. So even if you've been living your entire life with something that you claim is genetic or bad heredity or whatever the case may be, right now you can make a decision to say, you know what, this isn't serving me anymore. I wanna make a change. I know that there's actually no scientific proof that links any kind of genetic condition to who you are. You, are, you choose the fate of your genes, whichever way you want to do it. You are in control of your genes. It's the same thing with just being sick in general. And yes, there are chemicals around us and things that we're exposed to and, you know, allergies or whatever, but your body has natural responses to that. Your body is very intelligent. It is in perfect order. Its natural state is perfect working condition. It does not need anyone's help to function properly, but what it does need for you to do is eliminate stress in your life, to eat better, to turn off garbage that you're putting into your mind, to go outside and connect with nature, to meditate, to stay present to the moment. Every day, you are shaping your reality with your beliefs, your thoughts, and your emotions. 95% of illness is caused by stress. As human beings, we are able to turn on our stress response now I'm gonna lay some Joe Dispenza on you. We, as human beings, we are able to turn on our stress response by thought alone, which means that your body does not know the difference between what you are actually experiencing and what your brain and your mind and your overactive thoughts are just making up. So if you are someone who's overthinking all the time and you get easily stressed out keep in mind that your body is going to react the exact same way whether or not that's something you're really experiencing in your current life experience or if you're just making it up in your head it's the same way so you are putting your body into an extreme stress state for no reason usually if you're just creating it with your own mind and people cannot live in a constant state of stress. You just can't do it. You have to find ways to balance your life. If you have a job that you're not happy at, do something when you get home to go for a walk. Do something that's good for yourself. Don't just jump back onto your social media and start scrolling through traumatic stories and things that are designed to create fear and make you feel helpless and powerless. Balance that out. That is a way to keep your body healthy. Change your environment, change your cells, whether it's genetic or just being sick in general. The next time that you feel you have something coming on, a cold, 
the flu, whatever you think you have going on, ask yourself, what is going on in my life? Is there something that I am stressed about that has triggered this within me? And I guarantee you, 99% of the time, you have had some kind of stressful situation going on, whether in your mind or in actuality, that is bringing on this sickness, or you have an emotion that you are storing and pushing down and pushing down and pushing down, and you won't let it out. And it has to have an outlet, and so it will manifest in your body in a physical way. This is why cancer and things like this are so common because we all have things that we don't want to deal with and we just continue to push it down and push it down and push it down and then we have those stress hormones going on and your body cannot it's not made to function like that although your body is amazing it is not designed to just stay stressed 24 7. we are not victims we are the creators if we put stress in our lives then we manifest disease if we remove stress in our lives, then we remove disease. It's that simple. So in conclusion, if you are someone who feels like you have to go throughout your entire life suffering with some disease or some condition because it's genetic or just part of your heredity, it is scientifically proven that that cannot possibly be the case. You are in control of your genes. If you have something like that going on in your life, change your environment. You cannot get healthy in the same environment that made you sick. Change your environment, go outside, connect to nature, eat better, reflect on what your personal beliefs, thoughts, and emotions are doing if they're serving you. There's so many things that you can do. If you are someone who is always ill and always sick, there is an emotional cause for that, I guarantee you. It is probably a blocked or an emotion that you have been stuffing down and stuffing down and stuffing down, sometimes since childhood, that you don't wanna deal with because it's uncomfortable. I totally get it, but it needs to be brought to the surface and released and then you can move on with your on your journey. Please remember that every minute of every day, you are getting a reflection in your life of what you believe to be true. Your outside is always a reflection of your inside. So look around you, what does your outside look like? If it looks like something from a nightmare, then go within and figure out what is going on inside that is aligning you to experience that you would prefer not to experience. You are a powerful creator, manifester. You can have anything that you want to in your life. If you're willing to take the time to work on those beliefs, thoughts, and emotions, change the story that you're telling yourself, Quit labeling yourself with depression, anxiety, PTSD. Put in the work to do something about it, to figure out where that's initiating from. Where does it originate from? Change your environment, change something, and see then how your life begins to change in a powerful way. You're not a victim of your genes and your heredity. Let go of that victim mentality. I hope this video helps you. If you know someone who would benefit from it, please share it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to like and subscribe. And until then, I'll see you on the next video.